Hello everyone, it's Donna. Um, we got four or five new paintings in. As you can see, I got my book. Clean off the side of my desk a little bit. Got my Ziplocs. I guess I can make a little ninger. We're going to do four or five different videos because they're all from different vendors. And these came in. When did this come in? What is that? It's DPO. Um, it's Diamond Painting Out Letters. They came in 613. Um, it was two paintings. It's Twin Towers and... I don't know which one this is. Sorry. And I think this is Princess of the Night. Yes, it is. As you can see, it came in sealed. Um, they did not come in packages. They came in the gray shipping envelopes. But this is how they come kitted. Where they're vacuum sealed, they're rolled, and everything is basically on them. So, we are going to find our little scissors that I just actually put away. And it's partially popped because it's been sitting on my dining room table. And that is not on them, that's on me. It makes unwrapping it very easy. I don't know if I'm going to unwrap the painting for you today. Only because I'm already working on three different ones. So we're going to put the painting up there. And I'm going to show you what you got here. Oh, this cellophane is very noisy. So it comes with your standard. I'm opening this because I'm going to put it all away in a second. Standard drill plan. I think that's a nine placer. These are garbage. Um, tweezers. Pretty large thing of wax and a tray. What I like about them is, all right, this is what I figured out. One's wrapped in plastic like this where it's clear versus this kind of paper are poured. And that's how it was explained to me. This one's got some dents in it, but we'll see. Because the Twin Towers one was actually beautiful, but I gave that to my son-in-law. Because he's in the army. And eventually I will find the end to this. Actually, you know what? Um, uh -huh. Let's see. I might just rip off it anyway. That's a lot. I'll take them out so you can see the colors. She's really dark. Oh, not a lot of 310s, but a lot of 3665s. 3865, sorry. But I like it because it comes pre kitted, which saves me a lot of time. <coughs> And here is my symbol sheet. And I love their symbol sheet because they are enormous. You can read those symbols very clearly. And the way this works is this is your symbol code. This is your DMC number, which is your number of color drill, which is this number right here. I wish I got a camera that focuses. And this is how much they sent you. So, like, this big bag is, as you can see, 
This is the painting. She's so cute. And I finally get a chance to do paintings for myself, which makes me very happy. So, we're going to slide all that over for a second. Well, actually, no. <clears throat> what we're going to do, I might bring it down so you can see it a little better. I wish I could put this stupid thing behind me. Let's see. I don't know how people do it where the camera is behind them. And people do what they're doing. But. Okay. We'll go up just a little. And I hate these things because they don't stay down. But this is my girlfriend. And she cute. All right, so here's my book. I'm need my scissors right now. All right, item number, whoa, I knocked you over. Item number is MF0228. She is... only 30 colors so we put the colors there and I'm gonna put I just put a note that she came pre kitted and the way I set up my books is well let's bring it up just a little. Oh, and my book wants to argue. The name of the painting, the item number, the type of square, the size, the colors, when I bought it, how much it cost me, who I bought it from, whether or not it was a custom, the order number, the day it shipped, the tracking number, so I can keep track of where it is, when it got delivered, and kitted. When I started, when I finish, when I sealed or framed it. Some of them get sealed, some of them get framed. Oops, I'm looking now you get to see my crazy room. So, what we're going to do now is we are going to match these numbers. And make sure that we got all the numbers we're supposed to have. <clears throat> Where's my red pen? There it is. Okay. So as you can see, this bag is 900. So I'm going to go to 900 and say we got them. I don't know if there's 32 in here. Because they kitted it for me. So I can't count packages. We know we got to 3865. Forty eight, six forty six, five hundred, or ninety eight, eight thirty eight, one fifty nine. That does not look like four hundred. I'll tell you that right now. It's supposed to be 404, or 401. A 38, 12, 30, 41, 37, 27, 33, 28, we know we got 310s. 
3760, 3060, 161, 3743, some really nice colors in here, 3779, 415, 414, 37, 451, 777, 453, and 413. So it looks like we have all our colors. So that's a plus. And that's basically what you do. You just check your colors. I am going to put these puppies in a big Ziploc until I'm ready to work on her. So I put... The name of the painting. And the size. And then I drop all these puppies in it until I'm ready to work on them. I guess I'll open the painting so you can see it. Hopefully she's in good shape because I got one that was not so much. So now she's Dagged up, and I'll put her in a drawer until I'm ready to deal with her. Now, this thing I will take and I take a random piece of paper, my little blue stick. this way, and then I line her up at the edge of the book, and there she sits, and she's done. And then this way, when I go back to her, let's see if I can find her. Till I get a binder, because I think a binder is coming. I've got all her shipping information, and then I've got her symbol sheet. And actually, I'm going to mark this. So I remember who I purchased it from. That might be why she's not staying. Come in, baby girl. I wish they came flat. Okay, so that is that. Let me move you back over here so you can get a better view of the painting. We're gonna move all this junk. Get the book out of the way. Little baby scissors. This comes with tape on it, which I'm going to kind of leave because unless I can find some place to lay her flat. How oh, good Lord have me. Gonna find the end to the one piece of tape. So I had to cut it. There we go. And this piece of tape I'll keep because I'll try to re-roll it. And, well, no. 
don't know. It's one of those, now it's all stick, that was double sided tape, so this whole seam right here is sticky, but that's okay. Oh, she's cute. I don't see any rivers in her. I'm going to roll her backwards to get her flatten out for you. And when I say roll her backwards, I'm going to take this thing and roll her this way. And not tightly. It's just to get her to flatten out. Ta -da. I'm going to try and get her straightened out a little bit here. What the? Oh God, no, it's sticking. Really? The double stick tape ripped the paper. So now I'm going to have to seal her with paper, which makes me mad. Because that's what I I keep a garbage can under my desk, so I'm not running all over the place trying to throw stuff out. But she is gorgeous! And I don't know if you all can see, because this camera doesn't autofocus. But the symbols are really, really clear. And that is a big, big budge. A big, big bonus with the painting. Because I'm blind. And she's very sticky. So that's a plus. You also get your symbol sheet is also up here. Which is odd because it's not the way you can see it, but okay, whatever. Because you, you kind of, I don't know. I, I at least don't work weird. But I'm excited to do her and I ordered some special stones for the skulls on the bottom. That are sparklers. And to do the red with in her. So that should be really cool. Let me now see if I can find paper to cover her up with. I hope to God I got big pieces. Oh, I'm going to be so mad. I really don't want to have to use this plastic again. Because I don't know where that double stick tape is on here. Generally, well, get off, 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 off. I save all the paper from previous projects. You might wind up just mismatched, and I hate doing that. Let's see. I have nothing that will cover her. other table. Well, I try and figure out. I don't want anything on it. Because anything on it will get on the canvas. See? Oh god, there's a big chunk of it sitting on the canvas. 
Well, where did those stick tape on it? not just do that. That is so bad. But it happened. I don't know where that piece is over here. So mad. Oh, my goodness. I'm done with this plastic. I will figure out how to cover this bloody freaking thing. Because it should not be that hard. going to be a mismatch of paper. very upset about that, but it's okay. And now this will have to go under some books on my dining room table, just to keep it safe. Sorry about all that plastic mess, that was my fault. Well, besides the tape, plastic tape, the tape on it. But that is why I say save all your paper, because you never know. When you're gonna need it. So again, that was the painting from um, Diamond Painting Outlet. I'll put the links below. Thank you for tuning in. Please make sure you subscribe and like the video. And I'll see you in a few minutes with the next one. Have a good day.